Welcome to Bar 20 Arms. Well, fall is in the air. We're finally getting the weather that we've been waiting all summer for. Nice, cool evenings. Love them. Um, we got our old trusty pumpkin here. It's time to carve the pumpkin. It's time for hay rides and fun and bonfires and cookouts and all kinds of stuff. Today we're going to carve a pumpkin. And I've got my old trusty Ruger standard uh, 22 long rifle pistol. Love it. Bought it in the early 70s when I was in school. Love it. It's very accurate. I just re -blued it so it has a nice little finish on it. But today we're going to carve us a little jack-o'-lantern. Now I can't wait. Let's go get started. All right. We've got our pumpkin all set up. Ready to go. Let me put a shell in here. All right. Here we go. Well, I didn't shoot it with that 22. I couldn't resist. I had to shoot it with this. This is a 33806, and that is a uh, 30 6 necked up to a 338 caliber, 338 diameter bullet. And what I shot today was a 250 grain SBT Sierra, and uh, moving about 2,600 feet per second. And I wasn't sure what would, what was going to happen. Well, what this is, is a K98 custom Mauser. I made this Mauser. It's got a Leopold scope on it. I put this muzzle brake on there. The recoil was a little bit uh, too much for me. So I put that muzzle brake on there. And this rifle is capable of shooting a hole in a hole. I've shot many half inch groups with this rifle at 100 yards. And um, I can't wait to take it out to 250, 500, 600 yards to see what it'll do. All right, I'm kind of disappointed in the pumpkin. I was, I'd never, be honest with you, I'd never shot a pumpkin before. It's kind of new. I didn't know, I was kind of hoping it would blow up, but it didn't, as you can see. We're gonna go down there and we're gonna take a look and see what damage it done to that pumpkin with that 250 grain bullet moving 2,600 feet per second. Let's go down and take All a right, look. All right, here we are. You can see these uh, cracks where the bullet went in and the influx of pressure pushed it back out. These cracks go back, oh, about uh, two and a half inches on each side. This is the entrance wound. Now let's go around on the back side and we'll see what it did on the back Here side. Here we are on the back side. It blew out a pretty good sized chunk. You can see the cracks go much farther back, but it didn't explode like we were uh, anticipating. But um, let's, uh, you can see, that's a pretty good size hole, but that's about it. All right, we're not qualified to carve pumpkins here at Bar 20 Arms. We'll let uh, Hickok 45 be the master carver, and he is very good at it. All we do here at Bar 20 is uh, shoot holes and things to see what the effect may be. And we just have fun, and uh, we thank you for stopping by. We may take another pop shots at our pumpkin here later on and see what happens. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time at Bar 21. Thank you.